friends this is one of our mcc room which is mv uh, i'm showing you uh, some equipment this is known as circuit breaker as you can see this is a 6000 volt circuit breaker because we have 6000 volt mv system in our mcc uh, this circuit breaker is used to control 6000 volt circuits i mean to say uh, this circuit breaker is switching on and off uh, 6000 volts uh, cur uh, 6000 volts potential difference uh, circuits um, and currents at 6000 volts it's controlling power it is switching on and off um, so this device is used uh, everywhere i mean to say in the motor controls uh, it is located over here uh, in this uh, system you know i am going to show you inside uh, this trolley uh, this is uh, known as mv trolley and uh, it has uh, three terminals over here you can see three terminals and the top also you can see this plate and underneath uh, there are three terminals inside and this is safety uh, because this is connected to 6000 volt system on the upper bus bar and downside it is connected to the motor or transformer cables uh, so in between there is the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker is switching on and off and it is carrying power uh, so that's why they have put these plates and this is a safety uh, when we um, uh, put in the circuit breaker so these plates are removed I mean to say they are going up and down and then uh, the circuit breaker is making connection to the 6000 volts so this is a safety for human uh, the person who is working on uh, such a trolley uh, so he will not be or she will not be uh, electric electrocuted uh, or uh, I mean to say uh, something will not happen uh, some catastrophe uh, so here you can see this dust this dust is the enemy uh, so that's why we have come over here and um, we will clean um, all these and uh, here is the mechanism you can see these plates these uh, uh, small uh, iron plates they are the mechanism for this one and here is the rail these two rails they are providing rail or way uh, to the circuit breaker and here by this mechanism these plates are controlled these are controlling the front plates uh, for the safety the safety mechanism is operated by these plates uh, so while we are putting in the circuit breaker so these plates are going down and this plate is going up uh, so then it's providing the way to the circuit breaker and it's making a uh, connection uh, so here a few um, limit switches are provided while we are putting in the circuit breaker these limit switches are operated which is telling to the system here is another limit switch which is uh, telling to the system that the circuit breaker is in now so here you can see this these lumps they have dust i'm going to show you this uh, chamber here also you can see the dust is there uh, so we will clean all this dust this dust is enemy if the dust will be there uh, it can create a short circuit here are laminated spring you can see this is connected to the moving contacts there are two contacts in this chamber this is a vacuum chamber and in this vacuum chamber the upper is a uh, fixed contact and the lower is the uh, moving contact so here is a mechanism you can see the spring this is connected to the moving contacts and it is um, operating these contacts in very very much high speed here is the mechanism inside and these are the uh, these are the terminals which are connected to the 6000 or whatever voltage circuit breaker is uh, they are connected to that uh, power uh, so this type of uh, circuit breaker you know this is a kind of uh, three switches are there uh, I mean to say three phase power is switched on and off this machine is used this equipment is used for that purpose switching on and off several hundred or thousand amperes current uh, inside I mean to say the, uh, so the contacts they are carrying the current so that's why this has a very important uh, role because uh, you, you want to control the power all the time you don't want to switch it on all the time you don't want to switch it off instead you want to control so the control is provided by this equipment this equipment is providing control to you and uh, the, on, the, the difference between the ordinary switch and this type of uh, circuit breaker switch is ordinary switch is making switching on and off uh, by air in the air contacts are there in the air but in this kind of uh, arrangement this contacts are in vacuum chamber and upside you can see uh, these are this is the relay which is providing the protection the protection relay is here which is providing uh, the protection against many many parameters like under voltage over voltage dips 
over current under current such parameter are programmed in this uh, relay and here are a few controls you can see uh, here is the closing switch and here is the opening switch uh, so opening means or to open the circuit breaker and closing means to close the circuit breaker and this red indication is coming while it is closed and green indication is coming while it is opened uh, so here you you can see this dust is there just i was about to show you the maintenance uh, because maintenance is the concern over here because we have been come over here to maintain such a system that's why i showed this video in front of you so that you people will understand the front also we are going to open i will show you in a little more little moment the front of uh, this circuit breaker uh, so this front you can see uh, this circuit breaker is uh, you know this is the front and here is one of the charging lever you know this is a manual charging lever if the spring is not charged automatically so it's charged manually and this is showing the spring condition that it is charged or not you can see uh, at the moment it's, it is charged and it is showing the charge indication uh, there is a motor inside which is connected to the 110 volt battery protection voltage by which this spring is charged but if it is not charged then you will charge by Hand. So here is a trolley on which we put the circuit breaker on and it is locked over here. This is the locking mechanism you can see. So this is locked and now the circuit breaker is not going to slip from this trolley because if it is slipped or uh, whatever drop down so it will be a very very much big loss because this is very expensive equipment. You must not drop it and you must lock it on its trolley and then you should have to take maintenance on such equipment uh, this is the way we are not going to make uh, maintenance on ordinary table instead this trolley is a must this trolley is the supply of uh, the same company the Merlin Jaren uh, or the Schneider they have supplied us this trolley also uh, to maintain such a system here is the front had been removed from and I am going to show you a little system of this circuit breaker you can see here underneath here is a motor uh, the charging motor universal motor and here is the gear mechanism you can see this all is the gear mechanism and here are a few switches are there uh, which are this is the handle uh, which i had been shown to you for the manual charging and here is the gearing mechanism if the gearing mechanism is not working so we are using the handle here is the linkage between the mechanism and the switch this is the mode select switch uh, which is showing the different modes of operation uh, while it is operated uh, it is showing to the system and here is another switch you can see another connector which is here for these coils these this is the coil pack this is very important there are three coils closing opening and no release voltage coil these three coils are important for the function of the circuit breaker here is a main shaft and this is on the bearing mm, this shaft is located inside and uh, the spring is charged uh, through this shaft uh, here another shaft is there you can see this shaft is for the operation this is operating actually the contacts the main contact it is operating uh, and this one you know Merlin Jaren is written over here inside also Merlin Jaren equipment here is the uh, control cable connector this control cable you can see inside a cable was hanging which will be connected over here while this will be in uh, so we will connect it here are the two switches on and off these are mechanically linked switches inside which is uh, switching on and off the circuit breaker locally uh, so hope uh, you learned something from this video uh, if you learned it give a big thumbs up subscribe my channel and press on bell icon so then you will get notification on each upload uh, another coming up video you can see uh, this roller press this is very important equipment in the cement industry uh, this is located before the cement mill and it is pressing the clinker which is uh, you know uh, 90% prepared cement the clinker and this clinker is in shape of uh, stones uh, some small stones so these stones are coming over here in this equipment and uh, the clinker is pressed against each other against the roller and uh, this is crushed over here this is a primary crusher for the cement mills and it is 
making the efficiency for the mill it is increasing the efficiency for the mill now we are going to make some service and some maintenance on this one uh, which i have recorded this video and very soon this will come in front of you hopefully you will like that video as well uh, it will show the different equipment and different parts of the system so thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned